Here we are at Hot Heads Marine again. We got us a 7.4 liter. We got two of them actually. There's one over there on the stand. These engines had stuck valves and some bent valves and all kind of problems. So we sent the heads out, had all new valves, springs, guides, seats, resurfaced, tested, you name it. The heads are done up. They are stock oval port heads, nothing fancy. We got rid of the quadrajet carburetors because I can't stand them. Gonna get some flack for saying that. We put a brand new quick fuel carburetor, a Holly carburetor on, some marine carburetor. You can tell by these J tubes, right? We put a uh, Summit fuel line, inexpensive. We were able to retain all the factory fuel lines elsewhere. All we had to do was simply cut it here, put one little short piece of hose and make that junction. We put a new fuel pump, uh, oil change, you know, the basic stuff, spark plugs, yada, yada. The exhaust manifolds are bolted on just for floor testing and they will come off to go into the boat because it's a really tight fit in this boat. We've got a few other small things to address on it, nothing major, but you know, like a broken sensor here, and we, of course, just put a new sensor there, a few little things. But this is our floor startup test. Now we set these engines up as close as we possibly can. I've been doing this many, many years. Of course, we have Ken's Walker over here that's got his earmuffs on like a smart guy. And we got Zach, who's our new head dumb bastard, <laughs> right? And Anyway, um, Zachary dressed these motors out with a little bit of help. This is the first one. Is this the port engine? Yes. This is the port engine. Here we go. Let's see what this thing's made of. We're going to pump the gas one time, see how close we got this dude. What? Let's check that timing. Go to your stove. sounds great no smoke at all which is nice to hear because we didn't do anything to the short block so it was questionable okay well that's one of two we got success on this one we'll give this one uh, the green light for install after we look underneath make sure we don't have any oil leaks check our oil level we're gonna like I said have to remove the manifolds and we're gonna have to remove the fuel filter housing to fit it in the boat and there's a lot of other things the boat needs but here we go this is the starboard one so here in the next few hours we're gonna get this one off the stand, get it dressed out and see if she'll start and run like that one. But so far that's success number one. Good job, team hotheads. Y'all happy with that? Very happy. Okay, great job. Let's get to the next one.